Nearly half a century ago, these two neighbours fought a brief border war. But the latest China-Russia military drills show that hostility is now in the past. In this mock battle, the enemy is unnamed. It's a military partnership that's strengthening, thanks in part to both countries' worsening relations with the United States. If you say it's a marriage of convenience, that underestimates the, the depth of their shared interests. And of course, the biggest one is uh, opposing America and undermining America and the West. And that's extremely important in explaining the strength of the current China-Russia relationship. 10,000 soldiers are taking part in the exercise, which will last for five days, the 30th such war games since 2003. Russia's President Vladimir Putin and China's leader Xi Jinping recently boasted that their country's relationship was now unbreakable. And Moscow and Beijing appear to be in agreement on Afghanistan. Both were highly critical of the decision to withdraw all U.S. troops by September, with concerns that Afghanistan, which borders China, could again become a haven for armed groups like Al-Qaeda. When China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi met Taliban officials last month, he urged the delegation to distance themselves from what he called terrorist groups. Analysts say it signaled concerns that China and other countries will be left to deal with the fall out of the rapid U.S. withdrawal. Why did Biden push this so suddenly and so severely? And uh, within Chinese circles, also Russian and some other places, they believe that this was, uh, you know, basically saying, OK, we broke it, but it's not in our backyard. It's in yours, Russia, China, Tajikistan, all the rest of the stands. More war games also involving Russia, but this time with a force from Uzbekistan, a joint special forces drill close to the Afghan border, preparing for whatever scenario that may unfold from the Taliban's rising gains in the battlefield. All right. All right. Uh, Shalom alaikum. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechak I want to give Double honors to my Adrian apostles. Brown, Al Jazeera, give double Kong. honors to my apostles and elders. So I can. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give a uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the like Akim that's pushing this word in the truth and sincerity. You know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and their brothers is not wavering in the faith. You know, being diligent in the truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash, you know, Adwan uh, Ratiza, you know, that means Lord willing. You know, so Lord willing, this lesson is uh, edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, in my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, Bahashem, Rechakodash, it's going to be basing on current events. All right. Current events is tell you, brothers, you know, let you know, you know, through the spirit and power of of Yahweh by Shema Shah, what's going on around the earth, man? All right. The main thing in the news is the CV19, the variant, all right, which they just pumping that, you know, that pumping that throughout the media, all right, so people can get jabbed up, man. All right. So ultimately, they can destroy you, man, because the plan, the agenda of the elites, the so called Illuminati, they want a new world order and they want to depopulate the earth, man. All right. And the Lord told us to never trust thy enemy, man. All right, while they pushing this on the media, uh, you got a war going on in the Middle East. You got you got armies and nations and countries preparing to go to war against America, all right, which is prophesied in the scriptures. The third, the third world war, man. Let's get that, man. All right, why everybody's up here worried about the jab and, and the variant? You know the uh, the the, the CV one nine. All right, there's a war going on in the Middle East, man. That's about to brew over here to America. This is Revelation chapter eleven. In verse 14, it says the second world was passed and behold, the third world coming quickly. Talking about World War Three is coming quickly. The third, the second world is passed. World War Two uh, uh, went and it, it happened and then it passed. Now World War Three coming quickly, man. And what's going to how is World War Three going to be fought, man? All right. This is the book of Isaiah chapter nine. Isaiah chapter nine in verse um, in verse five. 
It says, for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. All right, the ancient, the ancient wars, you know, was fought with spears, swords, you know, noise, you know, the uh, 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 sh shields, born arrows. All right. All right. Garments rolled in blood, swords, you know. It says, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. So this third world war is going to be with burning and fuel of fire. And it's going to ultimately lead to America being destroyed, man. All right. Destroyed from out the face of the earth by 200 million nuclear warheads. And also the laser fire from the chariots, the angels. All right. When our Lord Yahweh shall return to the world, ignorantly called Jesus Christ, man. All right. Yahweh shall means he saved, he delivered because he's going to deliver the elect. Of the nation of Israel that has been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And the main deliverance is going to be here in America, man. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 50. In verse 9. It says, for, for lo, I will raise and cause up to come against, to come up against Babylon. Which Babylon is America. All right. All right. In the Bible, you hear about Babylon. You know, with Babylon being destroyed. All right. And the daughter of Babylon, that's. America, code name for America, man. All right, it says against Babylon and assembly of great nations from the north country, right? Russia, along with its allies. And they shall set themselves in array against her, against who? America. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as a mighty expert, man. None shall return in vain. So the, the arrows, the modern day arrows are those missiles because they're going to sh be shot off from one end of the continent, from one end of the earth into another. All right. That's what they call intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. All right. Verse 10, it says, and Chaldea shall be a spoil. All right. Talking about America. All that that spoil her shall be satisfied, saith the Lord, because ye were glad, because ye rejoice, O ye destroyers of my inheritance. And what? They, the, who is the heritage of the Lord? You Israelites, man. You Israelites. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. All right. Which when Esau, the so-called white man, came over here, all right, they, dis they took everything from my people, man. All right, they took the land, you know, they started renaming our people, telling our people we're savages, telling our people we Latinos, Native Americans, Brazilians. And also they took the southern kingdom from the west coast of Africa and brought us over here to serve hardcore buttons, telling us that we're black, African Americans, Haitians, West Indians. All right. Oh, ye destroyers of my heritage, because you are grown fat as the heifer of, at grass and as billows, as bulls. As billow as bulls, yeah, because they America got fat, they got rich off the slavery of our of our forefathers, man. It says your mother shall be sore confounded. Talking about Great Britain because America came, the the founding fathers came from Great Britain, all right, for the thirteen colonies. It says she that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hand of most of the nation shall be a wilderness. The hand of most of the nation talking about here, over here in America, a dry land and a desert. All right. It says because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall never be inhabited. Talking about America, because once this, those missiles hit and those laser fire, hey, this place is never going to be inhabited by men, only by desert creature, uh, desert animals, man. It says, but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and, and hiss at all her plagues. Put yourselves in array against Babylon around about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows, for she hath sinned against the Lord. So the Lord got all these nations all right, getting ready to shoot missiles against America, man. All right. And that's prophecy, man. That's why this drill, they just not that they not just doing drills to just, you know, just um have good relations and you know, just to keep continue this forever and ever. No, they're gonna eventually lock horns with America, America and his allies. All right. Well, well, America allies going to turn against her. So all these countries going to turn against America and they're going to shoot the arrows at her, man. All right. Let's see what's going else going on in the news, man. All right. Because everybody, everybody, you know, they so lost, you know, they, 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 they lost. And then this in, in the sauce of America, man, they're not watching, man. It says Biden says having children wear masks is not about politics. So they want your children to wear masks. All right. U.S. sending troops to Cabal Airport for safety, security. So is that 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 war going on? Going going on, man. All right. All right.
Cuban diaspora sends medicine to ease shortage. All right. We got floods everywhere. It says drone footage shows Turkey flood rescue and damage. You got flash flood in Turkey. Yeah, this is what the Lord is bringing to the earth, man. Why everybody uh, worried about the variant? Let's see this, man. What's the scripture said? Um, the Lord told us the wicked scribes and Pharisees, man. We're talking to our people in these times. Was it Matthew 16? Yeah, Matthew chapter 16 and verse 1. It says, The Pharisees also and the Sadducees came and tempted, desired, desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. He answered and said unto them, When is it when it when it is evening, ye say it will be fair weather, for the sky is red, and in the morning it shall be foul weather today, for the day is red and lowery. Yeah, so our people they'll know, they'll know when when if it's about to rain, you know, to get a raincoat. They'll know if it's sunny, you know, we put on shorts, you know. I'm gonna just put on I'm gonna I'm a it's gonna be hot today, so I'm gonna wear, you know, I'm I ain't gonna put on a lot of clothes, you know. You know, I, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna put on a hoodie. You know, with women, they supposed to be covered up. You know, you know, I'm not. You know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna wear a sweatshirt. You know, they they know, man. You know, you know what I'm trying to say. It says, "In the morning it shall be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowery." Oh, ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but ye cannot discern the signs of the times. Yeah, there are people. They don't. They're not concerning. The times of the signs, man. All right? The signs of the time. They're not discerning it, man. That's why the Lord said he's going to come as a thief in the night. Because everybody thinks it's peace and safety. First Timothy chapter 5, verse 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord. Yeah, but of the time of the season, brother, you have need that I write unto you, man, because we already know what time it is. It says, for, your, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night, and when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon them as, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. When these people say peace and safety, look out for destruction, man. All right? The Lord said he come back as a thief in the night, so we're supposed to be prepared. Ecclesiastes chapter... Uh, Eight and verse five, it says, "Whoso, whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing, in a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment." So a wise man, he gonna discern both time and judgment. Proverbs twenty-two and verse three, it says, "A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished." Yeah, the prudent man he foresees the evil. We see what time it is. We see in the MOTB about to come, man. All right. Which is in the book of Revelation 13, 16 on now, man. We see Esau about to come in, you know, like a madman sparing none. All right? Because he wants his new world order. But our, do our people, are discern, are, are they discerning the signs? Nope. They're into the sports. they messy. The There's Lino, Lino, um, Lino, uh, Messi. All right? Which here is like from the tribe of Natali. All right? They going, they they looking at sports. They getting ready for the NBA season, the NFL season. You know, they they're into all type of entertainment. They're not into the serious the uh, the seriousness of time. Yeah, this dude Messi, he went to the France club. He was with the uh, um, I think Barcelona for like twenty one years. You know, you know, we you know we know we we go into sports too. We because we watch, we look at everything, man. But we are not set upon that, man. We watching what's going on also. All right. Around the world, man. You know. Let's go to. Uh, let's go to Rupley. All right, Russian at least eighteen injured in a bus explosion. All right. Greece. Eva marked by trail of destruction and aftermath of wildfires. There's floods in China. All right. All right. Wildfires in Russia, wildfires in Greece. There's heavy rainfall in China. All right. It's all type of stuff going on, man. All right. That's why a wise man heart discerning both time and judgment. It says Algeria. Death toll. Oh, yeah, the wildfires. Yeah. 
All right, so that's what's going on around the earth, man. All right, is is more. All right, that's why you got to look at alternative media. That's why the Lord said, uh, "Watch as well as pray, man." Uh, Second Edges nine it says, um, "Measure down the time diligently in itself, man." All right, discern the times that you're living in is repent and come back to Yahweh by Shema Shah because the days are evil. You know, so Lord, when his lessons are uh, edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Jeruel, and I want to give all peace, greetings, and salutations to all the elect Akim that's pushing this word in uh, truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, keep pushing, keep it going. Shalom.